So here's the engine bay of Rod's beautiful Mercedes. And as I mentioned, he's done a little bit of work inside the engine bay over the last couple of weeks. And this is one of the most amazing engine bays that I've had the pleasure of seeing. That's a hell of a battery you've got there, Rod. Where's that come from? That's an original Bosch battery, uh, remade by Bosch, Bosch Classic. Uh, came out of uh, Germany just recently. Um, just wanted the original look of the car, obviously, so to chase down that battery was a, was a, uh, a bit of a boon. And, and what motor has this got in it? Well, this has got the 2.5 litre, what they call an M129, uh, precursor to the 2.8 litre uh, motor. Uh, these came out in 65, 66 for a short run uh, after the 220. Oh, yes. 2.2 litre that was uh, 1960. I mean, this, this um, the pipe work here well, that's looks... Well, that's all the fuel injection lines. It's, um, well, multi-point for one of a better description. Six, six fuel lines, six fuel injection lines, one per cylinder. Um, they uh, typically uh, corrode and rust. Um, there's a fellow in, in Poland that is remaking them, and I, I sourced the new uh, fuel lines from him. Um, and I've also replaced the, the heater lines, the hot water pipes. They were, they were rusting out and looking a little bit second hand. So um, these have all been replaced. So was this your first Mercedes? Uh, no, no. I've in previous years I, I owned a um, W108 3.5 litre, uh, which I sadly sold many years ago. Um, I've also owned a uh, uh, SLC, but they were they were drivers' cars. They were cars I used to to drive to work and and back. I used to do lots of miles. So, so what drew, drew you to this particular model? Well this is this is a model I've always I've always longed for. The, the coupe, the two-door coupe is just beautiful lines. Um, it's I suppose goes back to childhood when a uh, our local our local doctor that used to do uh, home visits back in the day um, he drove one, and it was something that from a from a six-year-old, I, I just loved these cars. And did you have to do a lot of research to enable you to refurbish the engine like this and the rest of the vehicle? Continual research, I suppose you'd say. Um, always looking for the, the right parts, um, the right finishes. Um, Mainly through going to the going to the Concours events, that was a great source of knowledge for me. Talking to other people and looking at the other cars that were on display. Look and learn, eh? Yep. That really is the only way you can do it. Plenty of Bosch stickers around here. Well, that is just amazing, Mud. It's a credit to you and the work that you've done. And it's a joy to see. And uh, I thank you for your time. And I look forward to seeing this at uh, Sydney German Autofest and other club events. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, Vince.